This is terrible. We've been shipwrecked! We can't find land in any direction! To make things even more dire, it's said that at night hordes of zombie sharks appear in the ocean. Wait, seriously? I don't like the sound of that! So we need to build a floating security house. Yeah! Okay, here's the plan. Let's extend our boat into a full-sized high-security base. Cool! I'll use blocks of concrete to extend the area, like this. Nice! We'll build our security house on top of this platform. Hmm! Now to fill it in. We're already off to a good start. There! Now that the platform is done, let's start building the house on top. Oh! I'll just build it out here, like so. Almost done. Yep. That looks like a good size. I'll use glass for this part. A nice big window. Hmm. Oh, I actually want to make this part concrete. Oh. Something like that. That will make the house stronger. There. Hmm. I think I want the floor to be made of wood. I'll just use a quick command. Hmm, let's see. That should do it. Whoa! Perfect. Doesn't that look so much better? Now for the wall on this side, I'd like to make something fancy. I want to build it out of fences. This is going to look really unique. All right then. Next up, I should give us a door. Or maybe two? Oh, and can't forget the roof. I can help. We don't need anything too flashy, just some more spruce wood. Thank you, Mikey. I think I want to cover it with a layer of slabs. Okay. I think an overhang would look nice. Okay, it's almost done. Now nothing can spawn on top of our roof. Nice. Thanks for the help, Mikey. Before we add security features, I want to make it fancier. Huh? Does this look good? Maybe I'll add a pillar here. Something like this. Uh, sure, that looks good enough. Next up, Mikey, I think our house needs an underwater area. Yeah! Here's what we'll do for the underwater part. Oh. The underwater level of the house will be really important for security. Thanks, Mikey. Mm -hmm. The fence part will extend down too. This will look even cooler underwater. And then below that part, I'll put more spruce planks. What do you think? I like it. I think I'll make this part all glass. Ooh, yeah. It's gonna take up the whole wall. It'll be great. Oh yeah, now that looks cool. The floor should be something strong, like more concrete blocks. Concrete is probably zombie shark proof. And the floor is done. I think I should reinforce this wall, though, to make it stronger. Oh! Awesome. With that, our underwater room is complete. Woohoo! Almost. We can't use this room if it's full of water. Right. Let's use sponges in here to quickly soak up all the water. Oh! Mikey, uh -huh. watch what happens when I place a sponge. Huh? Hang on a second. What? Hang on, Mikey. There's too much water for them to soak up. Really? Maybe we should go from the top down. Let's try. Let's try again. Oh. I can't tell if it's working. Huh. Oh. Huh? Maybe if I just... Oh, look. It is working. Oh. Let's keep going. I see. We just need to put them at the top of the water. Whoa. It's draining. Let's keep it up. Yeah. Check it out. This side of the room is mostly drained. Let's keep placing sponges. Almost done. Wow. Hmm. You did it. That's the last of the water. Awesome. Now let's clear up all those leftover sponges. Right. This part's fun. All done. Finally, all the water's gone. We did it! All right, now, Mikey, I'd like to turn this into a storage room. Oh, storage! Help me replace all these floor blocks with slabs. On it! 
We'll split the lower section into two levels and put storage on top. I see. The slabs will let us fit in more chests. All right, now let's divide this with another level. This will be the floor for the storage room. See? Oh! There we go. Just like that. Thanks for the help, Mikey. Of course! Before we add chess, I'd like to give it some finishing touches. Huh? I'll replace these slabs with wooden blocks. Oh! Maybe some more on this side? Uh-huh! And some slabs along the top. This is really starting to come together. But I still want to make it look a little fancier. So I guess I'll add some walls to this space. Oh! Finally, I want this wall to be wood. That's much better. We should also raise this part up with slabs so the chests can go on top. Mm. Let's put chests all around the sides of the room. Oh, good thinking, Mikey. Thank you. There's room to fit chests in the middle, too. There. Next for our storage area, I'd like to make a secret entrance. So cool. To start, I'll place a ladder that leads into the storage area. And next to it, a lever. Then, I'll have to make some room behind it for some redstone. I guess this outer wall will have to be thicker. That's easy enough. It'll look nicer if I extend it all the way. There we go. Now let's get out the redstone dust. Nice! Let's see. Right here, I'm going to need to place a sticky piston. There we go. Then, place a wooden plank in front of that. And replace this. Nice! Wow! Now, if you pull on the lever, the secret entrance opens up. That's awesome! Thank you. Hmm. All right then. Mikey, we're all done here. We've completed the secret storage area. What's next? Good question. For our next task, let's work on the first floor interior. I think this needs a glass railing. Yeah! I want this to look stylish. What else will we need in this room? Maybe a TV for when we want to relax? I think this wall will be the perfect spot. <laughs> and of course, we'll need a sofa to sit on. Of course! Hmm, how about a gaming PC over here? That'll be fun, don't you think? Oh, yeah! I think so, too. There. Oh, and can't forget the chair. That's better. Perfect! Next, I think I'll place some carpet here, like this. Woo! A carpet always ties the room together. Oh, thanks, Mikey! Yep! Okay, looking good! I like it! Now, let's do the interior for the underwater room. Yeah! We could make this a bedroom. What do you think of that idea? That's perfect! Great! My headboard will go right here. Nice! That's tall enough. I think I want a double bed. How about you? Mmm! And there you go. Thank you! Oh, and I'll give us some side tables. Nice! And then we'll need something to put on those tables, like these lamps. There we go. One on each side table. Oh, yeah! This looks like the perfect spot for a painting. Yes! What do you think? Should we put carpet in this room too? Definitely! This is starting to look really nice. It looks great! Let's carpet this entire room. Ooh! That's perfect! Oh, we can't forget to add a ladder back up. Mm-hmm! Otherwise, there'd be no way out of the bedroom. We'd be stuck down here. That's much better. Hmm... I think some flower pots would be a nice touch. What do you think? Totally! Cacti are my favorite plant. I want one in every pot. Maybe one more over here? So cool! All right. And with that, Mikey, our underwater room is complete. Nice! Does that mean our security house is ready to go? Not quite. We don't have any food yet, so we should set up an underwater farm. Oh, yeah! Farms need a source of water, so I'm going to let in a little bit from outside. Right here. Careful! Okay, now the underwater farm is going to go over here. An underwater farm sounds really cool! I'll make a hallway here. Mm. 
This part's just the hallway leading to the farm. The actual farm is gonna be at the other end. The ocean has plenty of room, so I'm gonna make it really big. Why not, right? Let's make it huge! Yeah! Then we'll never have to worry about food! Yep, we could spend our whole lives down here, and we'd never run out of food. There! Wow! For the walls of our farm, I think we should use glass blocks. Sure! If we use glass, then we'll have a really good view of the ocean. Good point! Filling in the walls sure does take time, but it'll look really good when it's done. Okay, now the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mikey! Mm, all done! There, the glass room is finished. But it's still full of water, so we can't grow crops yet. Let's drain this room using sponges. Right! One by one, these will soak up all the water. There we go! Looking good! Wow! The room is slowly draining. Very slowly! Finally! Ew. Wow, they soaked that water right up. Now we gotta get rid of them. All right! The water has been drained. Ooh. Our crops will need plenty of light to be able to grow underwater. So let's use lanterns. Okay! These lanterns should provide all the light we'll need. All right, that should be enough of them. Thanks, Mikey! Hmm. What's next? Oh, we can't forget the water. I'll go ahead and dig some holes in the ground. Aw, oh, thanks, Mikey. Mm -hmm. I'll add some water here, too. Nice. There we go. Whoops. There. The next step is to till the field. I'm ready. This part's easy. Just grab a hoe and hold down right click. On it. Hey, that's looking pretty good. What crops should we plant? Maybe some carrots to start? Sure! Okay, this step is really easy too. Just start planting carrots all over the place. That's good. It's nice to have multiple types of food, so we should plant some wheat too. Okay! There! Next up, let's plant some potatoes. Alright, done! Thanks! Hmm. The final two rows, let's plant pumpkins and watermelons. Oh, yeah! Hmm. Watermelon seeds on that side, pumpkin seeds on this side, and make sure to leave them with room to grow. Okay! Mikey, our farm is complete! Looking good! Woohoo! Next up, Mikey, there's something I'd like to add just for fun. What do you want to add? Come on, I'll show you. I want to build it outside the house. Oh? We'll have to extend this part. We will? Yep. It'll need to be big for what I'm planning. I wonder what it is. We'll need lots of room. To save time, I'll fill it in with a command. Uh, let's see. I'll start from here. Go all the way over here. There we go. Now we've got a floor. Oh. All right. Next up, we're going to dig a pretty deep pit. I'm going to need your help with that part. You got it! It's going to be about this long. Okay, now let's dig in the other direction. Here's how big it'll be. Okay, now let's start hollowing out the middle. What could it be? Can you guess what we're building? It's going to be really fun. We just have to break a few more blocks. Uh... There! We're all done with digging. Now, Mikey, inside here... Yeah? I'm gonna add water! The thing we're building is a pool! This place is gonna be a lot more fun if we have a pool! <laughs> awesome! I love pools! I'll fill all this up with water! It's gonna be huge! <laughs> Alright, Mikey, our pool is complete! I love it! Let's see. If we're gonna relax by the pool, we're gonna need a couple of chairs! Mm-hmm! Okay, those chairs look pretty good to me. Let's make some parasols, too. Yeah! These will be our parasols. Looking good. Hmm. Perfect! I have an idea. You know what this pool needs, Mikey? 
What? If we want to have fun, then we have to build some diving boards. Wouldn't that be awesome? Whoa! Totally! Check these out. <sighs> Finally, here's a staircase that leads to the top. Nice! Now the diving boards are ready to go. Want to try it out? Here I go! That was awesome, Mikey! It's still kind of bare out here, though. I think some flower pots are needed. I'll add some flowers to each of them. And with that, our outdoor area is complete! At long last, our floating security house is done! Well, Mikey, the house might be complete, but it doesn't have security yet. Huh? And that's bad. Look, the sun's setting. The zombie sharks could show up at any minute. We need to build security. Oh, no! You're right! We have to hurry! Let's each build some defenses! Okay, good idea. Hmm, I wonder what kind of security Mikey intends to make. Well, I don't have time to sit and wonder. I have to start building. I think this is a good spot to start. First up, I think I'll extend this platform a little, so I have a little more room to work with. Okay, I have an idea for something extremely powerful. We're gonna start with a couple of simple security turrets. Yeah, here should be good. Okay, then the turrets go up on top. There we go. The zombie sharks are going to attack us from the water. However, most of our powerful weapons won't work underwater. That's why we need these. Ta-da! Tesla guns! These shoot electricity, so they work really well underwater. Now, I'll attach these Tesla guns to the turrets, like this. Then, I just need to load the turret with energy cells for ammo. Okay, now it's the same for this one. Then, I'll hook them both up to some redstone. Add a lever, and it's ready to use. Zombie sharks don't stand a chance against electricity. I'd like to add a different type of security on this side, so I'll extend the platform too. Oh, there's Mikey! I wonder what he's building! I guess I'll find out later. I plan to make a self-destruct device on this side. I just have to fill out this platform first. This is where I'm going to build the self-destruct mechanism. I guess I'll start with some blocks of iron here. The self-destruct has to be extremely powerful, in case the Tesla guns aren't enough to fight off the zombie sharks. Then we'll stop them by blowing up the whole house. That's how strong it needs to be. This is the ultimate TNT. This thing is so ridiculously powerful, it won't leave anything behind. Not a single block. This lever is how I'll activate it. To make sure we don't accidentally activate it, I'll put it behind a pane of glass. All right. If we pull this lever, the super strong TNT will detonate and this whole area will be obliterated. Unfortunately, that would include us. So, I think we could use an escape route. Let's see. I'll need a bunch of ice blocks down here. And then, the emergency escape device will be over here. I think that's far enough. To speed things up, I'll use a command. Then, I can place the ice all in one go. There we go! Next up, I'll start building with cobblestone. I want to create a tunnel around the ice patch. Again, commands will come in handy. I'm basically doing the same thing as before. I just type in the coordinates and the command does the rest. There! It's all built right away. Now let's do the same thing to create the other wall. I just need the opposite coordinate. There we go. And with that, both walls are done. Now for the ceiling. <laughs> there we go. All done in an instant. Nice! Now for the fun part. Let's build the player launcher. I'll make some room and place four sticky pistons at the back. We also need some blocks that can't be moved, such as furnaces. They have to go all around the sticky pistons, otherwise the machine wouldn't work. 
Okay. Next up, I'll place some slime blocks and honey blocks in an alternating pattern. Then it needs a button. I'll place it right on the block. And of course, the button needs to be connected to redstone, like this. Now that's connected up to here. And finally, I'll place a boat right here. When I press the button, the boat will be launched down the tunnel, allowing us to escape the explosion. Our security systems are ready, with no time to spare. It's already nighttime. Yikes! Mm. My work here is done. Oh, Mikey! Oh, hey, JJ. I've been hard at work prepping my security. Whoa, what did you make? Well, this is the first thing. Huh? I made armor. Oh, iron armor. Hmm. All right, let's put this on then. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Mikey. You're welcome. But wait, there's more. Take these. Hmm? Oh, carrots. I gathered the carrots from the farm. Thanks. Hmm. I'm gonna eat some right now. Good idea. We should eat before the zombie sharks show up. These are good. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Ah. There's more. Hmm? This is the last thing. Oh. Ta-da! Is that a rocket launcher, Mikey? Actually, it's a multi-rocket launcher. Uh. We'll have nothing to fear from zombie sharks if we have these. I don't know, Mikey. Rocket launchers are powerful, but are you sure they'll work against underwater targets? What do you mean? Of course they'll work, JJ! Rocket launchers are the ultimate weapon! The strongest there is! I thought you knew that! Huh? What? Look! Over there! Ugh. Oh no, Mikey! The swarm of zombie sharks is here! And they're attacking! Oh man! I was hoping they wouldn't show up! But it's okay! I'm prepared for this moment! Bring it on! Watch me, JJ! Yeah! Here I go! Go get him! I'll deal with these zombie sharks! Bring on the rockets! Yeah! Ready? Fire! Take this, you lousy fish! Whoa! Why isn't it working? Huh? It's the water. It's slowing down the rockets so they miss the sharks. <gasps> no way! Oh man! You gotta be kidding! No effect at all. The rockets are just fizzling out! Mikey, rocket launchers are useless underwater. <gasps> so all my prep was a waste? Don't worry, I have just the thing. Let's activate the Tesla guns. Oh? That one's close. Three, two, one, fire! Whoa! Oh, wow! Yeah! So cool! Hmm? Whoa! It's working! Yeah! Look at him go! This is awesome! Yeah! They're dropping like flies! <laughs> we can just sit back and watch! The zombie sharks don't stand a chance! Just like I'd hoped. Woohoo! Phew! Tesla guns are awesome! This is too easy! Let's finish them off! Hmm. Take that! Huh? Come on! Keep firing! Yeah! Hey, what's going on? Hold up, Mikey! Watch out! Ouch! The Tesla guns are out of ammo! Wait, that can happen? I'm afraid so. What do we do now? Without the Tesla guns, we're defenseless! At this rate, we're gonna be zombie shark food! <sighs> and don't worry, I prepared some last resort security for this very reason! Really? What is it? Follow me, I'll show you! Yow! There's so many! Sharks everywhere! This is bad! Stay back! Our house is totally infested! <laughs> Hurry, Mikey, we have to run! <laughs> Way. Ouch, that hurts! I can't believe how many there are! Here it is! <gasps> All right, ouch! Ah! Mikey, this is the ultimate self-destruct device. It'll wipe out the sharks. Oh! As soon as we set that off, we're making a run for it. But won't it also destroy our awesome new floating house? Oh, well, I guess it's us or the house. Ouch! All right, listen closely, Mikey. I'm gonna flip the lever. Uh. Then, we'll hop in this boat and use the launcher to escape. Got it! This is important. We'll need to act fast or we'll be caught in the explosion. This explosive is incredibly powerful. Now, are you ready? Yes! That's scary, but I don't want to be zombie shark food! All right, I'm activating it! Do it! First, I'll break the glass. Three, two, one. Click! Run, Mikey! Get in the boat! Uh, Let's escape! Got it! Go, go, go! Here I go! Ah! 
My turn. Get far away! Whoa! All right, then, here I go. <gasps> Whoa! Let's get out of here. Hurry, JJ! I'm right behind you. Whoa! <laughs> so powerful! What an explosion! In the end, we managed to beat the zombie sharks. Woohoo!